We all know that the SUV or crossover market is huge, but there is one market that is growing or coming back, and that's the premium sports sedan class. One of the players is the Infiniti Q50, and for 2018, it has some changes, but one thing they haven't changed, which is good, that it's still available in that Red Sport 400. This is the blue one, but the Red Sport 400, 400 horses, you gotta love it. We're here where Nissan is king in the US, and that is Tennessee. The Q50 can be had with two different looks now. There's the new Lux model, which was the former premium grade. Of course, as it sounds, it provides a more luxurious look. And then there's a sportier look that you get with the Q50 Sport or the Red Sport 400. The Sport features a wider and taller grille, a new front fascia sporting a two-tone theme around the fog lights. The Red Sport now gets black mirror caps and lip spoiler. The one we have here has optional carbon fiber. The Lux gets standard 18-inch wheels now and the Sport and Red Sport get new 19-inch wheels. The back has been cleaned up and now has new LED taillights, rear fascia, and the Red Sport now gets custom exhaust finishers. Now we're inside of the 2018 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400. So let me tell you what's different in here. First of all, you get a new steering wheel. It's similar to the Q60, a new gear shift. And what you'll notice is the double stitching on the dash on the steering wheel and the stitching on the gear shift. It's all red, of course. Uh, if you get the, the standard sport model, it comes in silver or gray. In the middle of that, you have the Infinity InTouch system. I find the system very intuitive, easy to use. That top screen has all your information, including your backup camera, your around view monitor, and that bottom screen acts like all your buttons. It's very intuitive, but I do like that they have the buttons that you use most are actual tactile buttons. Also new, a brand new Bose 16 speaker system. Sounds great. And exclusive to the Red Sport 400, these seats, quilted, looks great. Uh, these ones are heated. One thing that I really wish that they had. Tennessee right now, summertime, it's almost 100 degrees. I'm pretty well melting right now. I wish they had some ventilated seats. <laughs> There are four versions of the Q50 that are available and they've kind of changed the grades of them. Now the base model is called Lux and that starts with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, puts out 208 horsepower. Then you go up into the V6s, a three liter twin turbo V6s, one with 300 horsepower and one with the 400 horsepower and that's a Red Sport 400 that we're driving right now. And then there is a hybrid option with a three and a half liter V6 that has a combined output of just over 350 horsepower. So there really is a Q50 for everyone. You can outfit it how you want. Really, if you are power hungry, you gotta go for the Red Sport 400. The Sport and the Red Sport 400 get bigger brakes. The Q50 comes with a seven speed automatic transmission and the Red Sport 400 that we have here has paddle shifters so you can shift it manually. The shifts are fairly quick and that goes to all four wheels. You see, in Canada, we can't get the rear wheel drive only, but we get all wheel drive. Not only is there a Q50 for everyone, each Q50 is very adaptable. What do I mean? First of all, the Sport and the Red Sport 400 come with digital dynamic suspension as standard equipment. Basically, it's adaptive suspension. It adjusts uh, to the road conditions, to your steering input, so you get the best handling possible. And then you get to the steering as an option. You can go with a direct adaptive steering. In case you didn't know what that is, it means there's no mechanical linkage between the steering wheel, your input, and the steering box. You're essentially driving a video game and a computer is providing the feedback to you. Sounds a little scary, don't worry. There is a mechanical backup and multiple multi-processor computers. So you don't have to worry about that. But what does it provide? Very, very quick inputs as well. Engineers can 
control it and adjust it almost infinitely. With your drive control settings you have, it can control uh, how it reacts as well. So we can adjust it to, I'm gonna go with Sport Plus right now, and the steering automatically changes. It feels like you're driving a totally different car than when you're in comfort mode. And comfort mode, I really find that it's a little bit too light for me. So that's some of the advantages that you get with direct adaptive steering. Regardless, if you go for the Lux or the base model with the two liter or the Red Sport 400, what you're getting with the Q50, a very refined ride, very quiet, first of all, uh, when you really put it down, it does have a nice growl. Of course, the pickup is really good. It's not super aggressive, but this is kind of a premium luxury car. And you gotta really think about that. And like the previous model, the Q50 is available with a host of driving aids. This is a very high tech car. It can sense cars, not just in front of you, but in front of the car, in front of you. It has lane departure warning with steering. It has blind spot warning. It really has it all. You are essentially driving the future, like driving a computer. So with the new changes on the 2018 Q50, it just makes a good car even better. This was always a very compelling package in its class and it still is. You get the most technology, a lot of driver aids, and you can get the most horsepower in its class. So if you're looking for a luxury sports sedan, this one has to be on your list. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.